Patient ADP change. You will start by marking your skin where the current ADPs are located. You will use the pen or marker that is provided to you in your track patch assembly kit. On the outer ends of the ADP, you will notice four small notches. You will mark where there is a notch and indentation. Once you mark your skin properly, you will carefully use adhesive remover to remove your old ADP. You should avoid wiping away the marks you just made. You may use more than one adhesive remover pad if your ADP does not come off easily. Always ensure skin integrity is kept while removing your ADP. Once both your white and blue ADPs are successfully removed, you will cleanse the area with soap and water. You will then use an alcohol wipe and let the area dry for two minutes before you place a new set of ADPs on the area. Once the area is clean and dry, you will use the marks that you just made to line up a new set of ADPs. It is important to ensure that the blue patch is always placed below your knee and the white patch is always placed above your knee. For the blue ADP replacement, the narrow portion of the ADP will always be pointing towards your knee. The wide portion of the ADP will be pointing towards your ankle. For the white ADP replacement, the narrow portion of the ADP will always be pointing towards your knee and the wide portion of the ADP will be pointing towards your hip. Once the ADPs are replaced successfully, the devices should be snapped into their corresponding ADP frames. You should ensure accurate placement by refreshing your application and completing a goal meter.